Welcome to Mock Rockets. Legos rock. And so do rockets. Okay, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Project Mercury. Now this project was the first United States human spaceflight project and it was in the late 1950s and early 1960s. Now there were two rockets as part of Project Mercury. The first one is the Mercury Redstone, which we have right here. Again at 1 to 110 scale as the Saturn V official LEGO kit. The astronauts who were part of Project Mercury were known as the famous Mercury 7. These seven guys, many of them are now household names. Now Alan Shepard was one of these household names and he rode the Mercury Redstone on a suborbital hop, becoming the first American in space. Another one of these names is John Glenn. He became the first American to orbit the Earth, and he rode an Atlas D launch vehicle, again, in the Mercury space capsule. He orbited the Earth three times in early 1962. Both the Redstone and the Mercury Atlas are former nuclear missiles, with the human-capable Mercury space capsule attached to the top. Both of these had a red launch abort tower in case of problems on ascent that would pull the space capsule away and hopefully the astronaut would be saved. Luckily, these were not very used. Now, our version of the Mercury Redstone comes with essentially what is the actual launch tower. And this was a small platform that held the capsule and then there was this big uh, arm that went up uh, along the rocket and this just simply fell away as the rocket uh, was launched. And our Mercury Redstone rocket uh, comes apart so the, the launch aboard tower comes off and the Mercury capsule comes off like this. The booster can be set aside. Now one thing we don't show in our instructions but it's easy to add for flare is uh, a nice heat shield piece. So this is a 2x2 two two kind of rounded uh, tile piece. And that fits snugly right on the bottom and then we have a very nice uh, Mercury capsule which could come in uh, for re-entry. Now the Mercury Atlas is a much more complicated vehicle than the Mercury Redstone. This technically is a one and a half stage rocket and during ascent uh, there are initially three engines that are firing. However, uh, into the flight the kind of the fins as well as two of the engines would pop off and the launch escape tower and then this would carry the astronaut the rest of the way into orbit. Now the Mercury capsule looks pretty simple and, and it is in, in part. The bottom piece is a simple 2x2x2 two by two by two black cone. The top piece is a 1x1 one one rounded brick. However, it's an old style brick that can be found in black and you can see there's no like groove on the side and so that gives it a nice sort of seamless look. And when we add this dish piece it really is very aesthetically pleasing, and we really like it a lot. The, the drawback to using these old style one by one black brick pieces without the groove is that the top, on the top it's very loose. This, this actually has nothing to do with it being um, uh, a tall component here. It's actually a very, very loose fit on most of the one by one old pieces that we have. We have about uh, four or five of them that we bought and only one or two of them fit snugly. And this one is loose but it's actually more snugly fit. In contrast, the bottom part of the piece is very, very tight when it um, attaches to the open stud here. You really have to force that thing to get it on. So if you stack a bunch of these up, um, I think that's what leads to these on the top being loose. These are still available on BrickLink and can be purchased and certainly it has that nice seamless look that we're, that we're aiming for. Mercury Redstone is completely dwarfed by the Saturn V rocket. It really gives you a sense of how huge the Saturn V is uh, and how small the Mercury Redstone is. You know, one, one person would fit right in that capsule, barely. There were six launches with humans for Project Mercury. And then NASA moved on to Project Gemini, which we'll address in a future video. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and please follow us on Twitter and check out our instructions at rebrickable.com.